understanding the phrase scavenging vulture. Hello, everyone, welcome back to our channel. Today, we're diving into an interesting English phrase, scavenging vulture. This phrase is not just about the literal bird but carries deeper meanings and connotations in various contexts. Let's unravel the layers behind this fascinating expression and see how it's used in the English language. First, let's break down the phrase into two parts, scavenging and vulture. A vulture is a type of bird known for its feeding habits. Unlike predators that hunt live animals, vultures primarily feed on dead animals. They play an essential role in the ecosystem by cleaning up carrion which helps prevent the spread of diseases. Scavenging refers to the act of searching for and consuming dead or decaying organic matter. When we talk about a scavenging vulture, we are referring to a vulture doing what it naturally does, finding and eating dead animals. The phrase, scavenging vulture, is often used metaphorically in the English language. In this context, it describes a person or entity that takes advantage of the misfortune of others. Just as a vulture scavenges for dead or dying animals, a metaphorical, scavenging vulture preys on the vulnerable or exploits situations where there is little left to salvage. This usage can be found in various forms of literature and speech, from novels and poems to everyday conversations, often carrying a negative connotation. To better understand how scavenging vulture is used, let's look at some examples. In business, a company that buys failing businesses at a low price to profit from their remaining assets can be referred to as a scavenging vulture. In journalism, a reporter who aggressively pursues stories about people's tragedies or misfortunes might be criticized as acting like a scavenging vulture. These examples show how the phrase can be applied in different scenarios to convey the idea of exploitation or taking advantage of dire situations. The phrase, scavenging vulture, offers us a vivid image that goes beyond its literal meaning touching upon themes of survival, opportunism, and the darker side of human nature. Whether used to describe an essential part of our ecosystem or metaphorically to critique certain behaviors, it's a powerful example of the richness of the English language. We hope this exploration has given you a deeper understanding and appreciation of the phrase. Thank you for watching, and we look forward to bringing you more insightful content.